Welcome back to a new video lecture and in this lecture we will discuss about when a beam is hinged at one end and the other end is also the far end is also hinged how the stiffness is going to happen and one more case we will discuss that is regarding when one end is hinged and the far end is fixed how the stiffness will vary okay so in the first case we will discuss when the beam is hinged at both ends this is the first case so here you can note out that a beam with the two supports are hinged that means this is far when you are comparing that this is far hinged okay you will say this terminology far hinged support you are applying a moment capital M at the joint A and there will be a slope is developing that is in this format that is theta A and theta B and here you are going to apply the slope deflection equation and you know that here in this case you are a if you are doing without load there will be no fixed end moments so mf a b equal to zero m b mf b a equal to zero in both cases the value is going to be zero so and this delta is also zero since there is no vertical deflection or settlement is going to happen so you can write down this one and two in this format that is two e i by l multiplied by two theta a plus theta b equal to capital m how it is going to capital m since you are applying a moment of magnitude capital M. Then divide about the value of MBA. It is also going to be 2 EI by L multiplied by theta A plus 2 theta B which is equal to 0. Why? The hinged support the moment is going to be 0. The answer is okay. So after that you can write down in this format that is from this second equation you can write down as theta A plus 2 theta B equal to 0 and the theta A will be equal to minus 2 theta B. And if you can substitute those values, that is, if you substitute theta a equal to minus 2 theta b in the first equation, you will get mab in this format. That is, mab is connected with the theta b. And if you apply this equation, theta b equal to minus theta a by 2, that is, mab will be uh, coming in this format, that is, 3 ei by l multiplied by theta a. So if you are going to consider the stiffness value of this AB, that is, if you are taking the case, what do you mean by stiffness actually? Stiffness it actually means the capital M, the applied moment to the unit rotation if you are applying. Okay, so the unit rotation for this theta A, if you are applying, then it, you will get, it will be cancelled and this value is going to be the, in this case. If you are considering the entire rotation is providing KAB will be equals 3 EI by L. This is the final value when beams is hinged at both ends. Now we will move on to the next case that is when a beam with the far end is fixed. That is one end is going to be far end and it is going to be fixed. Okay. So here also we are going to apply a moment of magnitude capital M at the joint A. And here also we are also going to apply the slope deflection equation. And if you apply MAB, it is going to be fixed end moments. In both cases, it is going to be zero since no loads are acting. Then what about the slope? This theta B also going to be zero since the joint is going to be fixed. So you can write down and this also going to be zero. So you can write down as MAB is going to be 2 EI multiplied by 2 theta A. And you can equate it to capital M since you are applying the moment capital M. Then in the case of MBA, if you are substituting the values, you will get 2 EI by L multiplied theta A. And if you multiply MAB value is going to be the magnitude of MAB will be equal to 4 EI by L multiplied by theta A. Okay, so again we are going to the stiffness equation. Stiffness means the applied moment that is capital M or MAB for this A joint at the joint A to the unit rotation that is theta A. So if you substitute this theta A will be cancelled and you will get the value as 4 EI by L. And there is a relationship between this. If you are applying a capital M moment at the joint A and if the joint B is going to be far fixed then there is a relation that MBA is going to be half the moment. That is, if you are applying a moment capital M, then 
the magnitude of this moment developed at the joint B will be m by 2. Already we use this equation in our slope deflection equation derivation. So actually this is the case. Okay, if you are applying a moment capital M at the joint A and the far end, if the far end is fixed, then the value of moment will be m by 2. And now we will move on to the last case. That is when several members meet at a joint. That means here you are connected. A joint is connected to various supports. So here you can note down that this is a <coughs> simply hinged support and here it is a fixed end and here it is a hinged again and here it is going to be again fixed. If it is coming then how the distribution moment, the distribution factor etc will come. Okay that we will discuss right now. And we already know that stiffness is going to be the applied moment to the unit rotation. So you can write down the equation m equal to k multiplied by theta. And if you want to find out the m o a, the moment for this, or this joint k o a multiplied by theta. And we know that it is going to be hinged. The value will be if two joints, if two ends are hinged, then what about the value 3 e i by l already we determined. And when the one end is going to be fixed, the value is going to be 4 e i by l theta. And similarly here also the same principle is going to be happen. And we already studied the this term distribution factor. It is going to be the if you are going, if you want to find out this particular case for this OA portion, M OA by M, then we know that M OA is going to be K stiffness at the joint OA multiplied by theta. And this capital M is going to be summation of this throughout the moments. That is K OA theta plus K O B theta plus K O C multiplied theta plus K O D multiplied theta. And we can come to a general equation distribution factor is going to be if you are taking for this particular section for this particular beam uh, here k o a by sigma k summation of all the stiffness okay then then regarding distribution moment if you want to find out the distribution moment you can easily calculate k o a by sigma k multiplied by the moment applied at the joint okay so this is the general procedure for finding out the moment distribution method and these all things is we will we'll apply in the problems and while doing problems you will get more clarity regarding why we are applying this distribution fact factor and what, what about the stiffness all, all those things you will discuss we will discuss in the problems okay so i hope the section is clear and with this we will wind up today's session thank you